Hello and welcome to the video how to clone a with repository in Eclipse ID with me Nam Haming at Code Java.net. Throughout this video, you will learn how to clone a with repository from GitHub in Eclipse IDE and then import the project in the repo to the IDE. Note that you must have access to a with repository on github.com. It can be the own repo, public repo or invited repo. And when asked for credential, which is required for private reports, you must provide your GitHub username and path or personal access token. Do not provide your GitHub password, it won't work. Now, let me show you how to clone a public repository on github.com into Eclipse and E. So, for example, I go to Sabrina.io website and go to uh, the guides to find uh, URLs or public repositories for example I want to learn REST APIs okay building an application with Spring Boot REST APIs in this guide you can find the repository URL here so copy copy this is a public repository that means I don't need to provide credential to access the repo so, okay so now switch to Eclipse IDE it is a new workspace so you can see the menu sorry in a new workspace in Eclipse IDE go to uh, read perspective from window so perspective perspective open perspective as a and then choose git yeah open okay the git repositories perspective appears and you can see the menu on the left here click clone read repository okay here there are two options clone URI or clone from github if you know the URI exactly you can choose clone URI and so I choose clone URI click next okay it automatically detects uh, the URI I copy in the clipboard in the URI view here repository path okay because it is a public repository so I don't need to provide authentication information here okay just click next okay and then the next step is choose the branch uh, to be cloned so click the select away and I choose only a main branch click next okay and then choose the destination directory here I choose the directory is my workspace Eclipse workspace 3 okay okay and you can see the option import all existing Eclipse projects after cloud finishes so you can check this option click finish just wait a moment and it is uh, cloning the remote repository from github.com onto this, this local computer and you can see the repository appears here the as spring boot and the code is in the working tree now switch to java perspective if you don't see the, any projects imported here now switch to read perspective or right click on working tree and click import projects then you can see it uh, detects uh, some projects in the repository here there are three projects uh, I choose just one the complete project okay click finish okay and switch to java perspective and you can see the project is being imported so complete version of the application you can see the code here so you can see it's very simple to clone a, a repository public repo uh, from github.com in Eclipse IDE just open the git perspective and then click add clone repository if you want to clone another one you can click the clone button here let me see clone a git repository button here yeah. 
that you can clone using URI. Or GitHub, if you don't know the exact URI, then you can search here. Okay, makes sense. Next, let me show you how to clone a private repository on github.com into Eclipse IDE. So I have a private repository here. You can see it is a private. Make sure it is the own repo or uh, you are invited to this repository so you can have access. Okay, so the repository URL here, you can copy. Or you can click the code button here, you can copy the URL here. Okay, and then switch to Eclipse IDE and switch to Git Perspective. Uh, if you already have a repository here, you can click this uh, button to this button to clone a new Git repository, clone URI. Next, you can see the URI detected automatically here. Because it is a private repository, so we need to provide authentication information. If I click next here, I got error, you see. So it requires uh, user and password. Here I specify my GitHub username. And password is a personal access token. It's not a cow password. So now come back to uh, GitHub and in the GitHub account, click um, settings here yeah. and scroll down and click uh, developer settings okay click personal access tokens and there are two types tokens classic or five grand tokens click tokens classic and click generate new token generate new, new token classic okay and give it a name for example my test path and you can choose uh, expiration the number of days or no expiration or no I choose uh, 90 days okay and then select the scope is repo it is enough for the purpose of cloning the project and then click the button generate token note that the token generated is display only once here so we need to copy and save this uh, access token in the circuit blast okay i have copy the personal access token and now i paste into the password field here click login okay and then choose the branch i choose the master branch click next and choose the directory I choose my workspace. Okay. Okay. Click finish, and I need to provide username and personal access token again. Click check this option store in secure store so it won't ask me again. Okay. It is calling the second repository which is a private repository shock me as you can see here and the code is in the working tree here switch to java perspective and you can see the project shock me already uh, imported here you see it has sub projects so you can uh, right click on the working tree import projects then you can choose as a project uh, to be imported yeah i choose to import the remaining projects click finish okay and see uh, it is importing as a project here show me common show me web parent show me backend and show me front end so you see it's uh, fairly simple to clone the private repository on github.com know that you must uh, provide a uh, so you have username and personal access token and to create a personal access token you need to go to uh, settings developer settings on your github account and create a new token classic and know that you need to save the gener generated token in the circuit place because 
it is displayed only once and then it disappears. That's how to clone a Git repository from github.com in Eclipse IDE. You can use the same way to clone any Git repo, not just on github.com. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.